We all know, the motorcycle market is a tough competition. And it seems that during the last decades, Harley Davidson has been losing terrain to its competitors. But we have to consider, that we are talking about a company, with more than 100 years. One of the world's oldest motorcycle brands. It is extremely hard to keep a business for so long, selling the same kind of product. And the worst part, the loyal customers won't ride motorcycles, up until they reach 90 years old. At least, not all of them. But the good news is, Harley Davidson is changing. Old school, still has its appeal. And the motorcycles that you are about to see, were built to change the direction of that appeal. It is not so unusual, to find someone trying to make a cafe racer, from a Harley Davidson. But what is rare, is a very good looking Harley, that really looks like a cafe racer. Welcome, to Racer TV. This beautiful project was built by Free VJ Icing and his team. Raj Putana Customs, located in India. They made an excellent job, following this minimalist aesthetic approach. These chunky tires, may not be the best option to lean on curves. But I recognize, they fit beautifully, in this compact attitude. The project is based on a model, that Harley Davidson purists probably won't like. And why? Because it has a liquid cooled engine. Fuel injection. A very competitive price. And only 750 cubic centimeters, which were refined to make everything smoother. In other words, the Street 750 model, is a motorcycle built to conquer the urban world, offering a great potential, for customization. And this project, demonstrates precisely that. The rear frame structure, was upgraded to receive a monoshock absorber, which is hidden under the side covers. The front suspension, came from a Suzuki GSX-R. The swing arm had to be slightly changed, to receive the new tires. And the transmission by belt, is now made by chain. You are probably asking yourself, why did the guys from Rajputana Customs, put the number one on the fuel tank? No, this is not their first build. It is only the Harley Dark Custom logo, which is also on the phase two of the project. Yes, they built another one. Besides all the changes already mentioned, this one, includes a new custom made fuel tank. A new rear cowl. A rear foot peg set. And a proper performance exhaust, with the sound that we want to hear. From a homemade project perspective, the changes made on these two Harleys, may be more extensive, than most of you would like. But I believe that it is possible to get something similar, with much less modifications. As I said previously, these two motorcycles are based on the Street 750 model. But very recently, Harley Davidson has launched a new and upgraded model the street rod. As you can see in this transition, the changes are significant. Even the handling, brakes, and engine power, 
were improved. But what is really interesting, is that it requires much less changes, to get to this cafe racer stance. I am glad that Harley Davidson is trying to conquer a new generation of customers. And this means, there is a new candidate, with potential for a good cafe racer. And these two beautiful projects, are the proof. Thank you, for watching Racer TV. And as always, I hope to see you next week.